Good evening. Ooh, that is peaking very loud. Let me, uh, tone that down a bit. Ooh, boy. I was, uh, recording some auditions, so I had the, uh, the gain cranked a little higher. I'm still hitting the red, like, very easily. Let me hear what this sounds like. Turn the game down a bit, too. Uh, I have not streamed a Steam game in a while, huh? Uh, let's see. Alright, that's pretty good. It's it's a little loud. Adjust your end accordingly. Uh, let me... I'll tone it down just a tad more on my mic. Uh, so, this is Later Alligator. Uh, I was recommended this game. Why is it highlighting stuff on my stream uh, overlay? That's weird. Okay, let me uh, minimize that. Everything still shows up well, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, yeah, you're gonna see the cursor, cursor fly around a bit. So I was recommended this game by Lols, as I was recommended QT. Pretty much every Steam game I've streamed recently has been has been thanks to Lols. Um, I was gonna wait for this to come out on Switch, but uh, there has been no word on that all summer. In fact, there was an indie direct today, and this game did not make any sort of appearance. So I'm a bit upset about that. Uh, at the same time, I was like, well, why bother waiting for it on Switch? I might as well just play the Steam version. Uh, I've heard this game's pretty short. So, it shouldn't take me more than a couple streams to finish. Excuse me. Uh, it's already oozing charm and style here. So, looking forward to this. Uh, I see we got some collectibles. Uh, gloves. I've already futzed with this and made it windowed. Uh, voice volume. I don't know how much voice acting there is in this game. I guess when we start, uh, we shall see. So that just pulls up the options, and nothing else does anything except clicking. Okay. No company, please. Thank you. Um, no hablo inglés. No hablo español. No hablos at all. Not even one hablo. All right, this uh, there isn't a ton of voice acting here. Give me one second. Uh, all right, I already put voice acting in the tags. I was gonna have to remove it uh, if it wasn't there, or if there wasn't. If there was, I've heard there's. You know, it says in the set settings there's some. So, okay, let me just. Uh, so this is gonna be kind of hard for me to read the chat, even with this windowed. At the same time, uh, oh, you know what? One more thing before I get started, because I was just informed that this is a thing on uh, Windows right now. So I gotta change something here real quick. Uh, okay. Click that off real quick. Okay. Perfect. 
that my PC should run marginally better, even though my PC was already pretty good to begin with. Okay, alright. Yeah, you're gonna see my mouse flick around. Okay, here we go. Now we're ready to play. Hey, I'm trying to lay low here, so can you maybe move on, please? Okay, okay! You got me! I'll come clean! I'm sorry for being so rude before. I'm just a little on edge. Normally I wouldn't tell anyone this, but you've got such soulful eyes that I can totally see the entirety of... So I feel safe with you, strange. Oh, you got such soulful eyes I can totally see the entirety of... Okay. So I feel safe with you, stranger. See, I usually I love coming to John Johnny's on my birthday like this. Staying in the hotel, floating in the pool, eating two bagels at the Continental Breakfast, eating two soaps in the complimentary bath basket. But this year, I've got a problem. A real big problem. He's so cute. A real, real big uh-oh problem. The thing is, I'm pretty sure the family is finally trying to rub me out for squealing. I didn't mean to squeal. Honest, I just see a pair of artist eyes and the secrets just start flowing out of my snoot. See? I'm doing it right now. Oh, cheese and crackers. What am I going to do? I don't want to be rubbed out. Two-ton Tony even told me I have to meet him upstairs at 8 sharp for the event. They think I don't know, but I heard him talking to Big Mama on the phone. The whole family's gonna come really show me how it's done. How old is this kid? What am I going to do? I don't want to sleep with the fishes. I have a shellfish allergy, and my asthma acts up when I get too waterlogged. Wait a sec. You're interested in me, right? You wanted to sit with me for breakfast and anything. Everything. Gonna need a lot of water for this one. Do you think you could help me? Since we're such great pals, you could go out and talk to my family around Alligator, New York City. Find out of information about the event and report back to me. Yes, this is a great idea. Together, maybe we could collect enough info to say save me. You want to save me, right? Right? Great. I'll text you if I need any help. How about you go out there and start? Do you have a watch? Ah, you do. Great. I'll text a little before 10 a.m. since it could take 15 minutes or so to get back here on the trolley. So make sure you check your watch a bunch. If you happen to get stuck doing some weird game-like activities while investigating, it could take time. Time I don't have. Because I'm going to have a murder done on me. Uh, uh, I'm okay. Think of the beach, Pat. And what Dr. Duple Snoot told you. This game. It's, 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 it's good. It's good. I like this. Good boy. Anyways. Thank you so much for helping out an alligator like me. I really feel better just looking at your super kind, invisible face. And be careful out there. The last thing we need is two people sleeping with the fishes. We need to find a double bed. In this economy? See you later, friend. Stay safe. Okay, so it's 8 in the morning, and I've got till what, 8 p.m.? Chronodial. Hello, esteemed guest. If you're looking to leave the restaurant, you'll have to use the exit arrow up in the corner of the screen. Okay. We provide all our patrons with an exit arrow and complimentary pillow mints. Feel free to use both that side of our fine establishment to exit and munch as you wish. Just don't mix the two up since that arrow is vintage. And known to contain harmful materials such as lead paint, asbestos, and a combination of rat poisons and cilantro. Please feel free to visit us again here at John Johnny's, and have a Johnny of a day. <coughs> Welcome. So, 
Hmm. So it's like a black and white point and click. At the same time, though, they mentioned texting, so... It's like still kind of modern age-ish. It's a little confusing. Uh, let me... So this window still... This window has black bars above it, so I need to like... Just make sure it all kind of lines up properly. Okay, so you could kind of control uh, the camera a bit. Not many places to go, though. Hey, bub, you got a minute? Or perhaps three minutes? I ain't above asking for five. I saw you walking out of John Johnny's over there, and I says to myself, Mickey, you gotta talk to that mysterious stranger. A vision in pinstripes, they is. I ain't trying to fluff you up or nothing, but you look like an alligator of exceptional taste. As well as one who might like to dabble in high-stakes games of chance and intrigue, if you feel me. No, don't actually feel me, I got a skin condition. They call me slick for a reason, and according to my doc, it ain't going away unless I start using that topical cream at night. But I ain't gonna listen to some jabroni with a smarty certificate. You know what I'm saying? All my smarts come from the street, which is also where I got the skin condition and my impolite lower back tattoo. Whom Pat the event? Name's Mickey, but everyone calls me the old king of the cards. Well, that one guy did before he got yelled at a fi Wait. Well, that one guy did before he yelled at a fence to stop stealing his email passwords. Then his pants fell down. Then he fell down into an open manhole. But I have it on good authority that the paramedics that he only called three or five people in order to, uh, Excuse me, but I have it on good authority from the paramedics that he only called three or five other people at... So, bada bing. The old card king at your service. Are you talking about Pat the Alligator? Yeah, I know that dude pretty well. He's my second cousin. One time when we was kids, us guys got locked out of CCD after recess and missed the juice and cookie time. We only had one granola bar between the... Now, we only had one granola bar between us, and good old Pat gave me his, the bigger half. I'll always remember that. No, I ain't crying. I just spit in my own eyes as a display of my street toughness. Ptoo, ptoo. The event. Oh, ho, ho, you know about the event, eh? Well, looky here, bub, it's a real secret affair, you dig? Ain't nobody supposed to be going and telling Pat about it. My lips are sealed. Just like they're sealed when I wake up after a night of nose-only breathing. Maybe, though. Just maybe. If you play a little game with Mickey here, my lips might loosen up. You think you could keep an eye on this flurry of fingies and find the queen? Stay on your guard. Keep an eye on the cards. Three card, Mickey. Mickey's running a street scam. Keep an eye on the queen and pick the correct card to foil his plans. Alright, get your peepers peeled because these hands are about to become a hurricane. See here? Keep your eyes on the lady. Where's she gonna go? Where's she gonna go? Seriously? Oh, hey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, when I said serious... Oh, wait, are you kidding me? Oh, my God. He freaks out over the right one. <laughs> no. Well, I guess we'll never know who won. Guess who knows which way the wind blows or some junk. Uh, couldn't actually pull off a burp there. Hey, how you doing? Alright, well, I'm guessing they're not all going to be that easy. Got a family member badge. Oh, jeez. Anyways, about the event, well, you ain't heard it from me, but I hear it's gonna be a real fair to remember. The whole family's been talking about it for months. Pat's really gonna get his, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, thanks for playing. Let me know if you need any of my city smarts while you're out there, rookie. Try not to look at any trolley handrails if you can help it. Those dermatology copays are a real kick in the alligator pants, you feel me? Oh! How are you doing this fine evening? The trolley ain't here yet, so why don't you just go check out the arcade? Mickey got banned for his slick fingers gumming up the machines and causing an epidermis epidemic. 
But that ain't mean you gotta suffer the same fate. Oh! Ah! She's having a stroke. 8.30. Okay. Find the lady. Where's she gonna go? Unknown. Um, hello? Is this by chance your first time in Alligator, New York City? I mean, in the city city, not, um, Alligator, Long Island or something. Alligator, Staten Island. It is. Who's this? I thought so. Oh, um, you don't know me. I'm sorry if it's weird. I just thought I could, like, text you some tips. This is real big and has a lot of colorful secrets that I wouldn't want you to miss on your first visit. Well... The, f the folks are colorful. Everything else seems pretty, uh, monochrome. Is it okay if I help you out from time to time? Sure. Alligator cell phone 200X. Ah, great. I'll be sure to text you again soon. Don't forget to enjoy yourself. Alright, well, I got one family badge. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay, so puzzle pieces are just scattered. Cool, it's like I'm streaming Banjo-Kazooie. Hey there, you up for a real challenge? I haven't seen you here before, stranger. Alligator New York City is a big place, but we tend to have regulars, you know? Like Rocco and Bonnie over there. Those two are here every day, but you? I'd remember such a visible face like yours. Ah, uh, look at me being a real jerk. I don't mean to be giving you a hard time or nothing. Just been a little frazzled since last night. I had a dream that I was a ski ball and some sticky-fingered kid kept throwing me into the ten-point hole. Go for the fifty dingus, I tried to yell, but being a ball and all the ding- uh, the, the ding-dong couldn't hear me. I woke up in a cold sweat in my kitchen, systematically throwing individual oranges from the window into my neighbor's terrarium. The vitamin C would have helped me shake it off, but all I had for breakfast was black coffee and half a can of leftover candy cigarettes. The name's Joni, or Baloney if you're my fourth grade bully, come back to fight me. You're not. You're not, right? Sam? Anyway, I work here at Adelaide's Arcade, sweeping floors and keeping the games running smooth as a baby's balmy behind. I used to work as a greaser in a shop downtown, but I left to be closer to my gaming hobby. They let me keep my leather jacket, though. And the company hairstyle. Pat's my cousin, and also the most genuine doof I know, so you better be nice to him, you hear? I wouldn't want to have you pop- I wouldn't have- I wouldn't want to have to pop you one. I'm told I got a mean left hook, and a moderately insulting right hook. I can't use uh, the keyboard while I'm... And a kick that could benefit from some anger management courses. I tried to calm it up. I tried to sign it up for some common yoga at the YACA, but it didn't go over well. You ever get kicked by your own leg? It ain't great, bud. <sighs> it ain't great. Look, I know you're here spying for Pat or whatever reason, and that's fine, but I can't tell you family secrets. You feel me? To give up info that hot, you'd have to really impress me. So what do you think? Can you roll the ball, old-timer? I'm talking pinball. The old pinny B, as I like to call it. Against the advice of both my friends, family, and the supportive therapist I see on Thursdays. I got the highest score on Lizard Wizard right here, eight months running. Oh shit, King Gizzard. I didn't think there'd be a cameo in this game. But I'm always looking for a real wi pinhead to pit my skills against. I threw myself off with that stupid joke. So what do you say? Care to take on an old pinball lizard like me? I didn't mean to make a joke. I take this very seriously. You'll penny bee. Beat their scores or go for more. Click the plunger to launch the pinball. When the pause and play, control the flickers by clicking L and R. Or using your left and right in the keyboard. Beat 5,000 points to earn Joni's respect. Alligators aren't lizards, technically. Oh, here it is. Oh, where's my other catchphrase? Darkness will prevail. Cobra ka abra. I would never be in pinball because I hate pinball deeply. 
Beautiful. Uh, okay. Also, d using the thing for this is really annoying. I'm gonna be using left and right. You don't, uh... Well, this is kind of hard. <laughs> you know, sometimes you don't even get the chance to, like, make a shot here. Retry, it takes 15 minutes if you fail one. Oof. Yeah, why not? I'll retry it. I get that lucky the first time. Alright, there we go. <laughs> cool. Oh, jeez. Hey, it's been a long time since I've seen movies like that in front of lizard wizards here. Oh, moves, not movies. And yet these... <laughs> okay. I see a Vampire Hunter D reference in the corner there. Yeah, that ball hitting all the down, the do-whats and who's it so fast I could barely keep up. It's been a real honor to hang with another student of the pinball arts. Oh, yeah, puzzle piece. Neat. About the event. Now, this might just be a rumor, but word in the street, there's going to be some sick games there. Not pinball, per se, but, you know, you take what you get. Anyways, that's all I can really say. I better get back to the grind trying to get beat my last high score. Thanks for showing me your supple wrist, pinhead. Catch you later. Pity B. Pinball. There's a couple things going on over there. There's something going on back there. So it is now 9.15. Hey, up there. Long arms. You got a sec? Pinball. Nice suit. What's a fancy reptile? I like the aesthetics of this game. Me too. I'd kind of seen some of this before, but I wasn't really ready to delve into it until now. She's wearing a shirt that says anime. What's a fancy reptile like you doing at the back of the arcade? I know what you're after. That's right. I got you pegged just by looking at you. You want cold, hard, plush. Well, you found the right alligator. An al alligator. And I've got a job that'll pay for both our, our retirements and poorly made stuffies. You might see a humble claw machine, but this is a vault, and we're gonna break in. But we can't just walk in. No, there's countermeasures. Sometimes Norma the security guard comes by and says that I'm not allowed to put my claw and chair into the aisle. Without the boost, I'm not tall enough to work the claw. She says it's a fire hazard, but most of the machines in here are. See behind there? That's one. Ailing power strip juicing up every one of these babies. One more moving pinball, and boom! This place lights up like my chemistry teacher's hair when I turn that Bunsen burner too high. Oh, yeah. Me? I'm known around these parts as Sweet Geraldine, criminal mastermind of the claw machine. You haven't heard of me? Honestly, I'm not surprised. I leave no fingerprints, and Johnny Law doesn't have a clue. Or Johnny Boyer from my geography class. Lots of Johnnies in this game. At least that's what he said when I asked him to spring fling. 
Pat is a patsy, but not my patsy, that's for sure. He's related to some of my dad's friends. One time at dad's show, Pat pulled a fire alarm because he thought someone was trying to set him on fire. Turns out he just had a warm piece of pizza in his pocket. Oh god, he's reminding me of Burger Pants. No one could find him for almost an hour until the firefighters pulled him out of the concert hall's crawl space. He was covered in spiders and had eaten the pizza, but was otherwise unharmed. Physically, anyway. That guy's pretty weird. I'd love to tell you about the event. I really would. But this is our first time on the job together, Mac. You haven't earned my unbridled trust. Maybe we could come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. The claw machine? It's a two-man operation. I need someone who's not going to sell me down the river for additional prizes when plush comes to shove. You feel me? What do you say, old-timer? One last claw machine score? The big one? Grab the prizes that she advises. Claw school. Follow sweet Geraldine's instructions to get the perfect claw machine prize. Click left and right to control the crane, and when you're ready to grab, click the center button. Here she is, the big quesadilla, the mother load. Inside this vault is a treasure trove of prizes. I've had my eye on a couple of choice goods, but I need an accomplice with nerves of steel and hands of steel. A tall patsy like you... I don't know why she, I got confused by her calling me a patsy. A tall patsy like you can push the buttons and see the prizes. So what do you say? Let's get some cute loots for our cute snoots. First, you should warm up your tricky digits. Grab me any prize that catches your eye. Go on, old timer. Show me what you got. Hmm. Oh, alright. I had a prize. Let's check the slot. Haha, <laughs> this toy is so haunted. You've got some chops, I respect that. But now the real job begins. Will you react when the pressure's on? This time you follow my lead. Can you get me that seashell? I think it's pretty. Seashell. Oh, there it is. Scooch it over just a tad. No! What? Shit. This doesn't even have a worm in it. I can still see the prize I want. Here's another quarter. Could you try again? Alright, wait a minute. I think I'm gonna have to rely on the swing. Come on! It's only glass, right? They wouldn't put a huge actual diamond in here, right? Nope. That was in the wrong spot completely. There we go. I wonder if I'll hear the ocean if I put this to my ear. It said, Glacial Melt is changing ocean currents. Whoa, dude. You're really good at this, but it's finally time for the big score. I can see it in your eyes. You're ready to get the ultimate prize. Get the doll from the best, most awesome video game franchise of all time. Final Friend City. Yay. He's the dreamy one with the spiky hair. This is it, the big one. We only have two shots left, though. There he is. There's, there's Cloud. Cloud Cloud Gator. I kind of want to get Piterman and Batman, though. Which is the, the people that made this game. Um, the, per the person who made this game is the same person who made the uh, Batman, Piterman uh, cartoon. I think there's an achievement if you grab both of those at the same time, but... I need to try for a uh, cloud. Yes, I got him. Did you get it? The ultimate prize? OMGs! I 
can't believe you got the dreamiest anime Game Boy from Final Fan Fantasy, Claude Stripes. Wow, I was right. Claude, his hair is almost as prickly as his social interactions with women. This is exactly what I wanted. Thank you so much for helping me. How old are you, kid? No, I want to go for the Spider-Man and Batman. I can't believe it. The big score! And thanks to you, we had a clean getaway. Oh, jeez. I'll tell you what you need to know. The event is... A secret! I'm a gator, not a rat. That's right, a classic double cross. That's the calling card of Sweet Geraldine, Master Criminal. She is adorable. I love the loading screen guy, too. Hey, it's me, Pat. The alligator? The one with the hat? Hello, Pat. It's almost ten. Can you come back? Someone came over to my table and threatened me. Well, they gave me a coupon and told me to have a nice day. That can mean anything, bleh. One free tomato soup. Here's a coupon I got last week. If you come back, I'll give it to you. No questions asked. I'm on my way. I'm wearing glasses. Ah, uh, don't bot me! Oh, 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 it's just you, my new friend. Sorry, I saw your shadow over me. I thought some kind of restaurant assassin was descending from the rafters to take me out. Good child. I know there's no rafters here, but assassins are tricky. They can improvise. Didn't you have to... Didn't you have dare when you were in elementary school? You know, dare, dude, assassins really exist. At least I think that's the acronym. I was absent a lot due to my nut allergy. It was tough times for Pat at Willie's Peanut Butter Factory Elementary School. I love this kid so much. Or kid... I don't know if it's... He's a kid. I actually don't even know if... The gender, too, because... Pat's an ambiguous name. Uh... Anyway, did you find out anything from the family? Well, well yeah, I know they sound nice, but... They might just be fluffing you up. You know, buttering your bread roll to throw you off the trail? Sorry, I've actually just been sitting here mainlining complimentary bread rolls the whole time you were gone. M maybe I should go to my hotel room. I think I'd feel a little safer there. Maybe Pat's an adult. And less Logi with bread. Let's go. I guess I just assume kid because he's wearing like a little hat. Find the code to Pat's abode, my safe place. Help Pat back into his hotel room. Help Pat back into his... With his outdated website. Help Pat remember his room code. Thanks for protecting me. It really helps to have someone walk me into my room. The wallpaper in here is a little intense. Kind of makes me feel like something is staring at me. What am I gonna do? My heart can't take ten more hours of waiting. What's the event? What did I squeal the beans on? Cheese and crackers. Since I was so worried about getting super murdered today, I did the smart thing and got a special lock for my hotel room door. Just a little something I picked up at the hardware store. I was worried I'd get so nervous I'd forget the lock's passcode, so I saved it on my website, www.alligator.fun. I'm so glad I planned ahead. There it is. Wow. Okay, cool. Oh, here we are. This is for sure my room. You could tell by the unobtrusive lock I've installed. Installed. I said upstalled. Can you go to my website and grab the code so we can unlock it? That's www.alligator.fun. I really want to go inside and see if there are any more of those free mints left. Oh, I actually have to go to a website, huh? Okay. Can't wait for this website to lapse one day and, and this puzzle no longer be able to be finished. Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh god, wait, I have to show this. Yeah, this is Pat's homepage, alright. Look, there's broken links! Warning, warning, warning. Sorry, under... Oh my god, the gift of the baby. This is incredible. 
Cutie, life is a beach, blingy. Well, that's not the password, because that number's clearly going up. Wow. It's a lot of hits. About me. Don't click, Pat only. If you're not Pat, you're breaking- you're breaking the law. This has been reported to the computer with the slow- small t, police. 91619. Uh, oh. You did it! Thank you so much! Okay, I, got, I gotta, you know... QT did that to an extent, but... What the fuck? What? Ah, I can't close it! What's going on? Help! You gotta help me! I don't even like pink! Uh... It's getting on my feet! Just enter anything! Oh my gosh. <sighs> Hello, my word. This is quite the mess. Who are you two? And why have you opened my door? Uh, who am I? I'm Pat, and this is my hotel room. I installed this lock because my family's trying to rub me out. But this is my door, where I've installed a lock because my family is trying to rub me out. But if that's true, and my password still worked... Is your lock code 91619? Is your lock code 91619? I read that read for the wrong characters there. Oops. We have the same code. And our families are both trying to kill us. <laughs> I love this game. This game's incredible. Why did I wait months and months to play this? <laughs> so long, stranger. Perhaps in another life we would have been total best friends. Like ships in the night, Mr. Pat. Anyway, don't tell anyone what you've seen here, or I'll come for you, endlessly. That sure was a string of unlikely coincidences, wasn't it? I hope that guy's room is okay, that stuff kind of smelled like brimstone. The music. Aha, this is my actual room. They're so similar, no wonder I mixed them up. You did this two times already, I believe in you. Terrible delivery on that. Thanks, I would have never remembered that on my own. Come on in. I'm so glad we made it inside. Now I could really try to relax a little. Sorry to distract you from the investigation. I'll text you again when it gets closer to 4 p.m., so don't forget to check your watch. You know, in case you get distracted doing a collection of menial tasks formatted in an enjoyable manner. Something like that. Bye for now! My girlfriend is coming to pick me up after work. I'm so nervous. She's just so cool and strong. But that's me talking about my girlfriend. I mean it, she's literally coming to pick me up after work. Where she'll put me, nobody knows. Welcome. There's something so nice about just sitting by yourself in a restaurant with a good book. I don't mind dining alone. It's serene sharing a meal with just myself, me, and I. Read that wrong kind of serenity that involves not having to hear anyone else. You're not really taking the hint, huh? Hmm. Okay.
Wait a minute. There was like another. No, it was just that. So it is uh, 10 15. Wait. Hey! 6 out of 48. Hey, bub, you're just in time. The trolley got here a minute ago. Why don't you go why don't you go check out the city? Bring Mickey a hot dog, maybe, or maybe some protective handwear. I'm gross! Oh! Ain't nobody can follow these ferocious fingies. You ever eat a John Johnny's here? The food's alright, but that bottomless chowder bowl was a disaster. I picked that thing up and bam, the chowder pants the rest of the day. Oh dear, I think I... Wait, did her eyes just change color or was I looking away? I think I... I got really confused for a second there. Oh dear, I think I may have left my scrapbooking scissors at home on accident. Oh, I found my scissors. It must have been your approach that gave me good luck, stranger. <laughs> I've been trying to get outside the home more since I had the new baby. Nana's watching her today, so here I am, out in the world. It's a little nerve-wracking to be away from the nursery after those months, to be honest. <laughs> I already miss all the new baby smells. Well, not all the smells. We all know more things come out of babies than just the sweet fragrance of their cute little heads. Well, even that stuff is a little cute. <laughs> I'm Maria. It's wonderful to meet you, Brodega. I was heading the local YACA before I ran into you. I'm... T oh, I was heading to the local Y... God... I gotta stop and read. That would help me. I was heading to the local YACA before I ran into you. I'm taking a class there today on scrapbooking, but I'm a little early. I meant to wait here in the lovely weather until their class on mom yoga and self-defense ends. Eat, pray, shove. <laughs> Do you mean my son, Pat? Oh, I'm just so proud of him. It's his birthday today, did you know? He's so funny with how he treats himself to a hotel, a hotel, a hotel stay every year on the day. He just loves that continental breakfast and those free tiny soaps. I do concern he eats too many of those, however. Son shouldn't be coming out of the snoot of a boy that age. I guess he's a, he must be an adult. Oh, and he's a boy. The event is actually why I'm taking this class today. Actually, since you're one of Pat's friends, maybe you could help mom out. You see, I'm trying to put together our family tree to bring tonight as a surprise, but I don't have everyone's pictures. It's so hard for all of us to get together in one place these days. I don't think anyone would like to use their photos from the early 2000s. Okay, so this is definitely modern day, just presented in black and white. We all made some questionable wardrobe decisions back then. Since you're already going around town, would you mind snapping some photos of the family? Any you get and bring back, I'll put in the family tree. Maybe if you get them all, something good will happen. Oh, I see you already have one there. Would you like to put it in? Here, you can have mine as well. Don't want anyone feeling lonely. Okay, so it's all the badges. Let's see how much you've learned so far. Collect the fam to uncover the scam. Family history mystery. Click and drag the alligator portraits into position on the family tree. Come back anytime to see your collection. Lovely Maria, age 48, church rummage sale cashier. But Pat was, uh... Your son. Oh, is it going up? Maybe that's it, yeah. Pat, age 24, okay, so he's not a kid. Lovable doofus, biotech. Aw. I love him. Cousin Mickey would probably... Be like here. Uh, 
I have no idea who she is. She's probably close to the top. Oh, wait a minute. Why is there a spot, like, wiped out here? That's interesting. Where did she go? Oh, there we go. Sweet Geraldine, age tween. Mod on age-appropriate anime form. Okay, so she's not a little girl. She's... She's in her early teens. Like, she's like 12. I thought she was like 6. Okay. I, I have no idea where this person would go. Probably somewhere younger, but... This is gonna happen one way or another, so I might as well do what I can now while I have it open. Joni, 23, Pinball Wizard. Okay, where do you go? Slick Mickey, age 18, Occupation Annoying People. He's 18? Wow. These characters definitely uh, portray don't portray themselves as their proper ages. Thanks again, dear. Come back anytime. Chowder Pants is my nickname at work, but from an unrelated Chowder-centered incident. Listen, can we stop talking about it? I'm still feeling pretty sensitive about the whole thing. This is almost as bad as the unlimited breadsticks debacle of last summer. What's not unlimited is apparently how much shame I can feel. That's Mr. Chowder Pants to you. Fifth William the Fourth. Oh boy, that sound flower, that sign flower looks as tasty as ever. I come here most days to stare at her. But I usually leave when someone calls the alligator police, or I slip and fall down in a rather overwrought fashion. So you ought to get all the way back up here if you fall. No elevator, you know. Just have to use elbow grease, which I have yet to speak to my doctor about. It's a full-time job to want to eat this flower, but I will do it as my father and his father did before me. Where are they now? Well, they bo uh, where are they now? Well, they both retired to stare at flowers in the comfort of their own homes, of course. But not me. I'm out here daily. Oh, he wants to eat that. Okay. Flower. Flex. This dude. Can't talk to him now. I'm probably not gonna be able to go everywhere. Hey again, your friendly city guide here. So I've been wondering, you've been finding any puzzle pieces around? I have. Thought so, you can find lots of fun things you might not expect in the city into by clicking around. Puzzle pieces, secret baubles to look at, interestingly shaped sewer rats. It's a real menagerie. Maybe if you find enough pieces, you'll be able to do something good with them. Like unlock something or make a blank small blanket for a family of chili squirrels the world is so bright so have lots of fun looking around toys over boys prizes over guises the train player oh I get it yeah, the Train movie re remake was passable, but if you ask me, nothing beats the part in the original where Train leaps into the air and the harness holding the actor breaks. If you stay after the credits, you see the footage where he falls onto the camera guy and a makeup artist holding two coffees. Leaving that whole scene unedited with some added slide whistle noises? Now those were the true days of cinema. <laughs> the coffee physics were really believable. Practical effects, you know. Pachoo, take that, Master Conductor.
Why do we always gotta come here? This place is a dump. You didn't have to come, Rocco. No way. The only thing worse than being in a dump is not being invited to the dump to begin with. Like you're too trashy for the other trash, which is unnervingly close to an entry from my dream journal last week. Take the shot, Rocco. Hold your horses, Bonnie. I'm lining up my stick. Gotta be delicate with these things. Oh, I've been holding my horses. I've been cradling my horses. I've enveloped my horses in the safety of a tender, meaningful embrace all night, waiting for you to take the shot, Rocco. <laughs> How come you could never hold me like that, Bon? If a grown man can't come to a children's arcade to unwind by hitting things with a stick and yelling swears, what kind of alligator country are we living in? Heck. Hey, cool it on that kind of talk, Rocco. There's a kid in here. Dang, you're right. Hey, what did I just say? Just lining up my shot. There's just two rules if you want to rack up a game with me. Be cool, shoot pool, and stay in school. And don't bring up how I never learned to count. Ah, oh, that's the third game I lost in a row. You're too good at this, Bond. I know. Come on, what's your secret? Muscle, hustle, and rustle. Russell? My holistic dentist. After he screams in my mouth to soft jazz, we hit up the pool hall downtown. I'm comfortable with myself. My mom is always on my case, like, Artie, go outside and talk to other alligators. Or Artie, stop hiding behind various types of curtains in or and outside our home. Like, I'm supposed to not hide behind various types of curtains in and outside our home. What do you think I am, Mom? God! Oh, jeez. Nobody here but us curtains. Okay, I think I've done everything in here, finally. Street Kiter 2. Wait, what about the... Nope, nothing there. Okay. 10.45. Let's get out of here. Map of Alligator, New York City. We're in the Fun District. Unsavory part of town. Alligator Memorial Park. Downtown. Mayor Wibbleyfin. Welcome to my beautiful city, Mayor Wibbleyfin. Fun facts. Booming bug economy. Free hot dogs on Fridays. See the Alligator New York City Alligator Opera presents Alligator Pagliacci. Sounds like fun. Alright. Uh, and then there's a piece missing over here, so... Let's go to downtown. That is a chill dude over there. Nothing to do there. I sell bug. And that's some bugs. The breeze, the practicing quartet. What a perfect day to be a uh, to be a alive alligator. Even though it gets noisy sometimes, I love living in the city. It's so full of life and good burger joints. Oh, I'm so content. I love this city. Bugs. Bugs for sale. More than one even, unlike what the sign implies. Yeah, I sell bugs here. Fork, knife, soon. No, not for baiting. For eating. We're alligators and we eat bugs, which is something you know because you exist here, canonically. Anyway, get bug buying or good buying, kiddo. I ain't got all day. Because I gotta sell bugs to feed my family with different bugs, which I buy with an alligator currency. Most people call me Papuli, but my real name is Mortimer Giles Jr., the third and a half. On account of my grandfather being perfectly bisected by a wheat thresher during the Great Depression. 
Miraculously, he survived, but his life wasn't without problems, such as how it was hard to see him when he turned directly to the side. Gampa, where are you? We'd call, but to no avail. He'd already slipped through a crack in the decorative linoleum. It's the last time we ever saw him, and also when those basement sounds started up. But look at me rambling here to a youth about cellar screams and the like. Eh, did you say Pat? That's my grandson's name. But also the name of the nurse that comes to massage the kinks out of my tail on Tuesdays. Did you mean Pat or Pat? You'll have to speak up. I'm hard of hearing due to a condition where I stop listening mid-sentence and think about the war. Eh, event? I I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. I have a selective memory disorder, you see, in that I forget things I don't really want to go to. Perhaps you could jog this old man's memory if you helped me a little, a little favor. You see, the only photo I have left of my dear late wife Martha was also been the victim of a wheat thresher accident. I can't seem to put it back together again. I just spit on the screen. Oh, I'm such an old man. How I'd give anything to see Martha's sweet smile again. Can't I help this old softy gaze upon his lost love once more? Make my wife, please. Get the pieces glued from this old dude. Click a block to slide it into an empty space. Reassemble the picture to gaze upon the alligator's beautiful wife. Sliding puzzle? Oh, man. 30% off this bug only, and it's missing Close. We're, we're getting there. Hold on. Once the... But the thing with sliding puzzles is once you have one row complete, it is possible to just... Nudge the other pieces into place without having to move them. You just gotta line them up properly. See? That's it. That's my Martha. Oh, lovely dear Martha. I'll always remember the sound of her sweet voice and her... It's not in the back. Oh dear, it seems I've seen the other side now with my secret wife. Could you put this one back together too? If not for me, then for creepy old coot grandpas everywhere. What? Secret wife? God, this one's way bigger. That doesn't look like a wife. That looks like a dude. Oh, she's like a karate person, probably. That piece in the corner's screwing me, though. Now that piece is in the wrong spot. Shut up. I'm good at this. P 
patronizing ass game. Almost got it. Oh, there we go. And that piece is lined up finally. These two need to be sw uh, swapped. Shit. So close. That's all lined up up there, so that we're done up there. That's lined up. So we've almost got two full rows here. We just need to get this one into place. That's right, so this needs to be moved. Uh, this piece needs to be there. Okay, so these two rows are done. This row just needs this piece in the corner. Done, but now we still got an issue here. Still got a little. Uh, we got a situation going on over there. just those three pieces at this point. Yeah, because there's no piece there. So it's just getting these three pieces into, into place. Okay, wait, I gotta figure out I need this to go up here, so I need this piece ahead. No, that doesn't work, though. Come on, I got this. I've, I've like, almost got it. <laughs> I can figure this out, damn it. literally just arranging these six pieces correctly.
one piece away. We're literally one piece away from finishing this. This sucks. There is a definitive way to do this. I know it. I I've done this before, like, many times. Wait, ah! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Wait, there we go. Just gotta fiddle it. Fiddle it. No cheats needed. Oh, goody, good old goody. It's been years since I've looked upon her sweet curly hair and your man-breaking arms. Thank you so much for your help, stranger. Thanks to you, I'm reunited with both of my lost loves. Don't worry about that scratching sound. That was nothing. Not the past years ago, but Gertie is just in witness protection pro... Excuse me, he's just in witness protection. You know, from all the man-breaking. What a firecracker, that gal. On cold days, I could still feel the phantom broken body pain she left me. Eh, event. Oh, you mean tonight's event? Well, I could tell you it's on past my bedtime. You young folk love staying up late. Me, I'm in bed by six nightly, after a modest dinner of soft bug puddings and four to seven episodes of soft flutes on public broadcast. Anyway, kiddo, thanks again for helping me out. Or should I say, helping three out. Heh! <laughs> Don't tell my grandkids. And look, here's a little something for your trouble. Did it! Heh! Oh, Martha. Oh, Gertie. I'm so totally asleep right now. Love being asleep. Okay, we ain't getting nothing from him. Hello? 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 Hey. Ahem. Oh, he hello? We're the Downtown Quartet, and we'll sing you a song. It's not a very short one, but it also ain't long. We'll sing it in the morning, and we'll sing it past noon. We've had a lot of noise complaints, and we will be gone soon. Hit the solo, Maurice. To jail! Denise. Louis. Patrice. Maurice. We're Pat's uncles and aunts, and he's our darling nephew. All except for Lewis, who's just part of the crew. Take it, Lewis. Oh, baby, I'm not related to Pat. No, nothing like that. I'm just a guy they know that takes part in the show. Whoa, oh. Whoa, dude, pull it back. Sorry. We can't tell you much, but we'll sing like a bird. If you can help us with our act, we'll tell you all that we heard. Give them a solo without triggering an oh no. Barbershop upset. Okay. Getting bit by bugs in here. I need some alligators. Help the alligator quartet hit their solos. When the scrolling bar shows a singer's background, point the spotlight at them. Uh oh. Action buttons. Let's first warm up our vocal cords. Keep an eye on the scrolling bar at the bottom. Shine the spotlight on the singer with the matching background. When the- Oof, excuse me. <coughs> Oof. That's dinner coming back up there. Chili. Chili dogs. When the groovy disco pattern appears, shine the spotlight at the disco ball. We'll all sing together. Ready, gentlemen? Ready, maestro?
beautiful. Except I messed it up, apparently. Their voices are beautiful. I love them. See, that felt pretty good. What do you think, fellas? Not enough Patrice time. Patrice demands more solo time. Okay, one more time for Patrice. wonderful. Truly a miracle. Well, to my ears, that sounded... I feel like I could have had more timber. Timber? Come on. It's a singing word. I'm a real singer, and I'm gonna prove it. Okay, okay, last time. Alright, everyone, give it everything you've got. Singing low there. Oh, nice. Three at uh, a four, uh, four for one. Or three. I didn't get one for the other one. Come on, man. Oh, right. Sorry. Oh. I do get four. You helped us with our song to improve our content. Now we're going to tell you what it is we've booked at the vent. Thank you all for all your help. Now we'll see you in a wink. Unless we get arrested, then please bring us from the clink. La 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 la. Okay. They're all done. Oh, we gotta go in the antique shop. Noon 15. back there. Hey! Hey, look at me! Do you want to hear my poem? Oh, it's a little kid with a train track. It's called Shiny Tiny Miny Little Thing. Here it is. Shiny Tiny Miny Little Thing. What are you? Then it said, I'm a shiny tiny miny little thing. Did you like it? I eroded it and, um, in my head because I can't write on papers yet. Except for my name. And except for butt. Papa didn't like when I write it on grandma. I'm Alice and I'm four years old. I'm going to eat the whole world when I get older and I'm going to be an ice cream truck king. Do you want to smell what's in my pocket? No. I don't want to know what's in her pocket. Is that a crib or is that like a train track? What is that? Pat. Pat, pat, patter, pat. 
Pat is my cousin. I brought him gummy worms and he eated it. But then, I showed him it was real worms so I found under the bird bath in the backyard. Pat doesn't come to babysit me anymore. It's a secret. I'm not supposed to tell nobody about it. Papa said if I did, Grandma would be real mad. Even more mad than when I righted butt on her butt. Can you help me with my snack? Maybe if you did, then it'd be okay. I want to eat all the pancakes, but only if they're on my special plate. I don't like to eat pancakes that's not on my special plate because it doesn't taste as pancakey. You know how it is. Don't put the smaller ones under the bigger ones either. I knew it. I knew that was going to be the puzzle. I don't like that. So will you stack me the pancakes? This is going to be the shift stuff to a different side and try to get all the pancakes from one plate to another while keeping them in the same height. Do you have what it takes to stack up pancake? Flowers... Flowers of Annoy. Okay. Stack the pancakes on Alice's special plate. You can only stack a pancake on an empty plate or on top of a larger pancake. Watch out, each time you move a pancake, Alice gets hungrier. Oh, there's a time limit to this. The plate with A on it, that's my special plate. If I'm gonna eat all these pancakes, I want them stacked perfectly on my special plate. Stack them carefully. A big one can't go under a little one. You ready? up there. Yay! Wait, what's that sound? Oh, it is a train set. Oh my gosh, the train is in the station! Mm, that was a good first course. Oh, God. Wait, really? Oh, come on. Wait, does the train sound kind of funny, though? Oh god, there's still another round. At least the bar went back down. Ah, I clicked out of the window! Frustrating. This is this is unneedless. This is needlessly frustrating here. Come on. Pancakes. 
I feel real, real stomach achy, but accomplished. Maybe I'm gonna lay here a while. That's gonna be cake at the thingy tonight, and I wanna eat it, so I gotta regain my cake stamina. Thanks for help. I'm gonna go sleep beeps now. Yes, please, sleep your beeps. Pat, pat, pitter, pat, pancake, pat. Welcome to Nana Roos, where there's ooze on your shoes. If it's the just cause of the, if there, where if there's ooze on your shoes, it's just cause of the booze. Okay, it's haunted as all get out in here, sweetheart. Some on the ectoplasm. So you interested in buying some antiques from me today, dollface? We just got in a huge new shipment of designer grandma plates, never meant to be eaten on, as well as a bunch of confusing teddy bears from the 70s with realistic plastic faces. My pen, not for sale. Thirteen thousand seven hundred ninety-nine dollars, cash only. Ninety. I could get you a real deal on one of those if that's your fancy. Is that your fancy? I know you kids are into weird stuff these days. Yes, sir. I see you over there. I'll be you with you in a minute. Well, sugar pie, as the sign may have alerted you, I'm the one and only Nana Rue herself, purveyor of only the finest antique goods and the finest antique store owners. <laughs> Go on, honey. Tell me I'm looking good for my age. Alice, stop harassing the customers. My sweet, sweet Patrick. He's my absolute shortest grandson. Why, it feels like only yesterday. He would run about the shop, squealing about ghosts trying to eat his kidneys and hiding in humorously oversized vases. As you could probably tell by my expression, that actually was yesterday. That boy might not be playing with a full deck. You, hey you, be careful with that vase. It's expensive. Aw, oh, so Pat's inviting his little friends to the event. Isn't that cute? He's such a darling, that boy. I'll be closing the shop early to get on over there on time tonight. Gotta strain all the ghosts out of my wig before the shindig, you know. Those things tend to hitch a ride. Yes, sir, I see you waiting there. I'll be with you in a minute. Sorry, pumpkin. Looks like I have to stop yapping about the event and take care of a customer. Unless you defeat me at a round of cards. What do you say, sweetheart? Think you can out the old you can out old the old maid? Keep up with the maid without getting played. Old maid. On your turn, take one of Nana Roo's cards. Then she'll take one from you. Any matching pairs will be removed. The last one player left holding the old maid loses. Okay. House rules. The younger player goes first. I've got customers, sweetie. Take a card. Old maid's taking a liking to you, I see. I don't know it, but this is my lucky pick and flipper. A pair. I knew I'd find one. Nervous? You still have to pick a card. What card is that? Is that a 10? Oh, that's the old maid. Okay. Uh, you're not pulling wool over my eyes, are you? My pick, you say? Well, well. I knew I'd find one. I have a customer, sweetie. Take a card. How do you... Like, redo... How do I move the card around in my hand? That's some luck you've got there. My pick, you say? Well, well. I knew today would be my lucky day. Oh, well, I lost, because... Well, look who got the lucky fingers today. is conspiring against me. Nervous, you still have to pick a card. Sometimes it seems like the pairs want to find me. I know which one you want to pick. She does not have a tell.
Well, how about that? You won. So I've lost about an hour. Less than an hour. I've lost 45 minutes with retries. Well, my stars and garters, you really beat me fair and square. You know, if you see my older sister Constance around, you should try to coerce her into playing around with a doll like you. I think she'd get a real kick out of it. Just don't stare at her cards. She gets a little feisty about that. So about the event, make sure you get that at eight sharp. If you get to dawdling, you might miss the big surprise. It's sure to knock Pat's socks off. Wait, does he wear socks? Is he one of the shoe-wearing alligators or the non-shoe alligators? Well, something will get knocked off the boy. We'll make sure of it. <laughs> Buno Giorno. That's not how you spell that. Did you know that's how they say hello in Italy? At least that's what's in the back of my box of Chris Bryce's box today. See. There's lots of different alligators from all over the world here in Alligator New York City. That's why they call it a melting pot. Not because of the strange smell the sidewalk gives off in hot weather, as I originally thought. If you want to meet any interesting people during your stay, maybe you should start on the trolley since everyone uses it. You might never know who you could might strike up a You never know who you might strike up a conversation with there. Or who might throw a bag of hair at you and then run away. That's the big city for you, full of surprises. Always a good time finding a fellow card shark. I used to be a porcelain doll, but I came to life because of the magic of this shop. At least that's what I tell my ex-wife so I could come and sit here all day. I've got a butt groove going on in this shelf. What am I doing up here? I don't know. What are you doing down there? Check and mate. I can't believe the magic of the shop and the belief in the hearts of children everywhere brought me to life and made me a real boy. A real 44-year-old boy with high cholesterol and everything. You're late. I've been waiting for an hour. What do you mean you do not work here? Well, it's not as if you could fault me for thinking so. What with the drab wardrobe and pathetic sunken eyes. Everything here has the clear stink of death upon it. Oh, except for me, of course. I'm merely a poor, poor woman in deep mourning. Not at all one involved in mysterious circumstances the police cannot explain. I am merely a lonely widow left behind for the great beyond by my beloved late husband, Horace. Oh, Horace, always such a wonderful wisp of a man. Even at his most poisoned, he forever remained regal, kind, and absurdly wealthy. Now in his absence, I find myself trying to take comfort in the metaphysical arts. If only I could hear his sweet, strained voice once more. Sounds like you killed your husband, buddy. Pat, you mean the one with the ridiculous hat? Yes, I am aware of him. A terrible stain on the bloodline, that Papuli fellow. Created all sorts of nonsensical cousins for myself and my dear children. Once removed at the very least, though it's so of little comfort to me. Especially when I see someone like Patrick vault over a ta coffee table at the holidays. He thought he saw the Spider's Man or whatever nonsense. Oh, I can't even imagine attending the event unchaperoned. If only my poor dear husband had been less poisoned, I wouldn't have to suffer such horrific indignities. Will no one think of me and my feelings? Your questions grow tiresome. Don't you see where you're riling up the vapors? What are you, the lead detective investigating the mysterious circumstances around my late husband's untimely demise? How dare you? I've had no rest for the past week. Whenever I close my eyes, I'm visited by Horace's specter reaching out to me. Perhaps trying to send me information about some secret treasure he wanted me to inherit on top of the rest of his vast estate. Will nothing stop his ceaseless haunting? If you could only find it in your heart to help this poor widow, I could give you the information you seek. Just use the spirit board to contact Horace and please find out what my dear late husband wants. Or what kind of evidence he has. Become a dark patron of this ma terrifying matron. The bargain of earthly defrights. I think it's time for some water. Follow the ghost of the eye of the planchette. He can get tricky. The faster you move, the more suspicious the widow gets. Magical insight into the dearly departed. I have my suspicions. Prove to me you could contact my beloved late husband, or I shall out you as a charlatan to the entire Mean Ladies Bridge Club. 
Peace out. Yup. No. Who am I looking for here? It does seem like my horse. Perhaps it really could be him. Had him. Where'd he go? Could contact with the Astro be possible? Tell us more, Horace. Like, say, if you know the circumstances around your own death. I like this, uh, background. It's pretty good. I don't understand why I'm doing this. It's almost too much to be believed. Indeed, my very foundations are ruffled. He loves me. My horse said he loves me in his afterlife. Oh, lowercase h. What a prince among ghosts. What a specter special specter my horse is, and so gullible. Thank you, dearie. You've given an old widow a reason to smile again. And also an airtight alibi. Now I must go tell the children at once, and also hide some sensitive items in the toilet, perhaps. I simply don't have any more time to discuss the event with you today. Farewell, my medium. Oh, she's not the medium. It was the other person. It was, uh, she was waiting for the medium. Horace, you terrific fool. Pretty good. 2 p.m. Hmm. 
Not creepy at all. Excuse me, stranger. Can I trouble you for just a moment? You see, I need to seal the deal on a big sale. I'm talking huge, a ten-foot-tall coat rack for an exceptionally affluent and tall alligators. Can you keep an eye on my granddaughter napping and let me know if she's getting fussy? Angel Face is a very good girl, so I don't anticipate you having any weird problems or strange happenings at all. None. Just keep your peepers on this monitor and play her a little music if she starts to wake up or throw on her nightlight. Or throw on her nightlight. Yada yada, you get it. Just doing a babysit. Nothing weird about that. Watch a totally normal baby. Uh-oh. I think I know what this is. Don't let ghosts possess this baby. Target ghosts by highlighting with the ghost finder on the right. Damage ghosts by using the monitor functions or with the brightest light. Huh? Spook proof. Oh, I see how this works. Okay. You got to pick you got to pick the right uh thing and then pick the right intensity. This makes sense now. I got it. She's only a little possessed. It's okay. God, this is impossible. It sucked. Kind of just throw all the shit at you at once in the last one.
Uh, why, 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 why is it? Uh, why though? Why is it not working? It just stopped working. It's like, what the fuck, man? Okay, that's cool and all, but what the fuck? It like, it just it wouldn't take in the end. That's so weird. That made no sense. Oof, I've lost way too much time on this game now. It like, oh, this, the fact that it just shuts off the, the thing automatically is very annoying. Because, like, it does not let you know that it's, that it's not right. Alright, here we go. Love that baby. I'm back. Ah, oh, and look at that. Sleeping like the tiniest, babiest baby tiny angel. Sorry to task you with such a bore, but I do appreciate you helping an old gal out. Tell you what, any items with water, fire, or bee-related damage are 10% off. Just for you. Don't say Nana never did anything for you, kiddo. <laughs> that was a pain in the ass. Sleeping like a totally normal baby. Well, I blew an entire hour on that. I have five hours left. Alligator Memorial Park. Eh? Did you say something? Oh, it's her. I see you over there eyeing my cards, youngin, but I ain't giving them to you. Last time I was giving my cards away was long before you were born, and now look at me. I'm old. See what sharing gets you, aging irreparably. One day your skin is sucked close to your skeleton, but then you turn around, and boom! Your jowls are hanging down past your collarbones, which are now hollow inside. Is that what you want? Hollow collar bones with a nest of daddy long legs inside? And stop staring at my cards. That's only the business of me and the nurse that puts the ointment on my back bees three times a week. Stop staring at my cards. What, did Pat tell you to go steal his great aunt's cards? Because if he did, I ain't giving them to him his Christmas present this year. <laughs> Which is of course a bag of oranges and a strange tin of popcorn from 1987. Hey, I was born that year. Stop staring at my cards. I want to go home. I ain't telling a kid like you nothing. 
Although, you could play me for the information, as long as you don't stare at my cards. What do you say, kiddo? Think you could beat the old maid? She's a wily old gal. You're in for it, pal. Older maid. Okay, cards with cobwebs on it. On uh, your turn, click one of Constance's cards, and she'll take one in a mini match. Put left the old maid. Okay, so it's the same shit. Beauty before age, my dear. You go first. You play cards like an old lady. Consarn it. I know just what to pick. <laughs> I could beat you in my sleep. Uh, take your turn already. Have you been staring at my cards? Back off, it's my time now. Sometimes it feels like the pairs want to find me. Uh, take your turn already. I won! How many pairs have you made already? Back off, it's my time now. A pair, ha! Huh. I'll get you next time. win. Alright, alright. Don't get too cocky there, kiddo. Those eyes don't see as well as they used to when I bought them off that plague doctor in the mid to late 18th century. Just how old am I? None of your dang beeswax. I got my own beeswax to worry about, you know, from the back bees. Anyway, the event is tonight and me and my sister Rue are both going to be there. What more do you need to know? I get the heck away from me and stop staring at my cards before I give you a knuckle sandwich. It's a pig knuckle, which I bought from a great butcher in the back alley behind the sizzler. It's real good, so I don't want to share. Please don't click and drag on the grass. Oh, that's what I'm doing. Oh, there's a guitar person. Skids Valentina. No. I wanna hear something neat. Hi. Did you know, um, did you know the gazebo here and haunted by, um, like, a hundred million ghosts? Uh-huh, uh -huh, it's true. My cousin Giovanni told me so. That's why I'm playing over here. You know, just in case I can meet one, um, so we can be friends. It'd be nice to have a ghost pal instead of being ghosted by pals. I'm Skids, but my mom usually calls me the other one, or who left us here? Sometimes Bonnie Milligan calls me Squids at recess. My teacher says it's just because she likes me, but I think it's because I sometimes smell a little fishy since my bedroom is the spare utility freezer on the back porch. There's a lot of fish in the freezer. I think Pat's my cousin, like the cousin that comes after cousin, like the sequel to cousin, second cousin. I like Pat. He shares his meatballs with me and always plays fun games. Like this one time we both ran into circles to see who could do the most. Pat won and only threw up a little. He's so cool. I'm so, so excited because I'll get to see Pat and Giovanni, but I'm not supposed to talk about it because it's a surprise. I might talk about it a little if you play games with me, though. Want to play hide-and-seek? I've been practicing. Let the kid win or you'll see him again. Hide and sheesh. This kid thinks he's hot stuff at hide-and-seek. Wait for him to hide, then help him win. I'm going to hide now. Ready or not, I'm hidden. Is that something on my screen or is that something in the game? Hold on. No, it's in the game. That that little that spot right there that I'm highlighting. I was like, what the fuck is that on my screen? I hit so good. You looked everywhere except for where I was. One more. One more. Ready or not, I'm hidden. Where'd that come from? <laughs> I hit so good. One more. One more.
I'm a better hider every time I practice. Thanks for playing with me. I had a lot of fun. Maybe tonight at the event we could play together again. It's a surprise, but Giovanni told me there might be a big cake. I haven't had cake since the last time my mom remembered my birthday, which was... Well, anyway, thanks again. Come play with me anytime. <laughs> hey, it's me again, Pat. It's almost four, and I could really use your help. Do you know anything about shoes and the wearing of them therein? Couple things. Perfect. Could you come meet me in my hotel room? Just make sure you aren't followed by any shifty characters. Or college-age canvases and cargo shorts. I already gave all my dollar bills to that guy pretending to be a statue outside 4th Street. I'm on my way. Shoot. Who's this? This guy looks like that dude from Jojolian. Uh, with the with the hair with the the mo haircut. Derry. Good evening to you, fellow traveler. Have you come to imbibe some ales after your long journey as well? Garcon, fetch us your finest novelty wine based on that popular sci-fi television show. Nice suit. I like dabbling in a little bit in cosplay myself. Well, just last year at Alligator Comic Con, I dressed as a character of my own creation. Derelis, great wizard of the north. My brother Mickey helped me put it together, though it, he did get a bit slimy. Oh, he's Mickey's brother. Cool. I'm Derry, known as the terror of the east side in most magics, the happening card game circles. On campus, I'm known as terror of the AP Biolab, or the one with that haircut. Why did I get a piece for that? That was weird. That is my second cousin, as well as my second favorite person to play Dungeons & Dragons with. The first being my internet friend Carl, whose dad got rich bitcoin mining. Didn't technically mispronounce that. Pat's a bard, so you know, pretty, pretty useless. Great singing voice, though. He can really wail on that juice harp. Yeah, it's a party. What, am I not supposed to say that? Huh? You're leaving already? Well, safe travels, my fellow traverser of the mortal plane. Perhaps we'll meet again in another realm or on an internet forum for role-playing. Salutations and good morrow. Hello, esteemed guest. Mr. Pat asked me to inform you to come straight to his hotel room upon arrival. He also asked me to warn you to knock first in case he was wearing pants. But not to say the second part out loud. Kindly forget what I just said and come with me and I'll walk you to Mr. Pat's room at once. If you'd be so kind as to click and drag along this hallway, we should arrive shortly. Oh my, how embarrassing. Please don't tell the internet we've had a biohazardous incident. Again. Thank you for your patience, esteemed guest. We've now arrived. Mr. Pat is expecting you. Please just knock in case he's... Have a Johnny of a day. Welcome back. I was just trying on some pet. Nothing. I wasn't doing anything, actually. So, so, have you talked to more of my family? Found any secret... Plans? You think they're throwing me a... No, no, you're totally wrong about that. I would definitely know if they were doing that. Plus, it sounds a little far-fetched, don't you think? You can't pull one over on old Pat on his birthday. That's what I always say. Well, I say it sometimes, like once a year. No way, they're definitely putting together a systematic plan to enter my moderate- to end my moderate to small life. But I appreciate you putting the thought in. Maybe if you talk to a few more people, you'll find out something we could really use. In the meantime, though, I actually called you back here because I needed your help. You see, I'm having a problem. A shoe-related problem. Like, he's got the wolf shirt, the three wolf shirt. Why, oh, he's got two of them. His diary. I don't usually wear them, but I figured if I did tonight, maybe I'd have better luck hot-footing it out of the event to safety if I needed to. 
Issue isn't my usual shoeless, pantsless nature, but the drawer is where I keep all my things. Last week, my Nana Roo gifted me an antique armory from her shop as an early birthday gift. It's big, spacious, practical, and super haunted. It's leaving a weird stain on the parquet floor just by existing. I haven't been able to find any of my shoes, and whenever I open a drawer, weird stuff happens. Here, why don't you see for yourself? Soul searching. Peruse for shoes. Find a pair of Pat's favorite shoes by clicking on the suspicious drawers. Be careful if Pat gets too scared, he'll give up on shoes forever. After each round, the contents of the drawers will shuffle around. Spooky. Help me find my shoes, please. Okay. Yeah, I found one. Hey, a shoe. Let's find the other. A lot of bugs. Hey, a shoe. Let's find the other. Oh, another shoe. Hey, a shoe. Let's find the other. Wait, I already did. Oh, I found all six of them. Oh, I see what this fucking is. I'm... Oh, shit. I got fucked up. Why'd they tell you it was a match game? stuff. Okay, so there's shoes in both of those slots. Now I just gotta find the other- any of the other ones. pair left. Okay, there it is. I just need the other one. So it's in the white drawer in the second row. There it is. Perfect. My shoes! I can't believe it. You found all three pairs of shoes that I own. Every shoe is kind of represented here. Brown, sneaky, and tropical. You know, looking at them now is kind of giving me performance anxiety, actually. Maybe I should just go bear flipper like I usually do. Ugh. Sorry, I'm just so nervous. I'm not thinking straight. I'm sorry I made you come back here for nothing, but I really appreciate that you did. I'm so glad we met today. You're the best pal I've had in a long time. <laughs> I'm getting all mushy. You get back out there and dig up some more dirt, and I'll text you just before the event. So see you later, investigator. Welcome to Johnny John's. Would you like to hear today's specials? May I seat you by the open window? I'm told it's a cozy table with a full-bodied aroma of car exhaust runoff and ancient pee. Just so happens our drink of the day is also called Ancient Pea. It's ginger lemonade with a hint of turmeric. Yes, I need the deli specials. Why do you ask? Welcome. Oh boy, company. Give me a moment. It's going to take some time to rouse my polite small talk face. I'm just enjoying two or eight cups of coffee here at the bar. 
Bob tries to stop filling my mug after four, but I know his weakness. Strangulation. Don't talk to me before I've had my coffee, or before noon, or at night, or on weekends and weekdays. Essentially, don't talk to me. Hmm. That's hot. Oh my, you're back already. Why, hello again, dear. Did you manage to take any family photos? We got tons of them. We know who's related to him. It's the D&D &D nerd. Where is he? There he is. Nervous Derry, age 26. Occupation, conspiracy theory YouTuber. Jobin. It's Jobin. Black Widow, age 55, occupation of wearing a wire. Oh, she's only 55, but she was old. The White Widower, age dead, occupation deading. Dude wasn't related to them. Maybe that was, uh, this dude. No. Papuli, age 84. A occupation, bug acquisition and sales. Diamond Alice, age four fingers, occupation literal child. Where's the bab? There she is. Uh, hey, 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 whoa. Thought she was the sister. Oh no, she's one of uh, Pat's siblings. Age 14 months, occupation eating soft foods and soft non foods. met his father yet. Maurice, age 46, occupation tenor. Skids Valentino, age 11. Occupation, helping out Mistress Johansson on Thursdays. Cool. Groovy. Lewis, age 30, age 43. Occupation, base. Why did I say 34? Like, what was running through my head there? Nana Ru, age 77, purveyor of fine antiquities. Babyface Constance, 80, age 83, occupation, doddering, smelling like that. Patrice, age 51, occupation baritone. Oh yeah, he's not related, he's just connected there over there, that's why. T 
Denise, age 50, occupation soprano. Okay, so she, Joni's uh, her child. Interesting that there's a couple things over here that are scratched out. Made some good progress here. Thanks again, dear. Come back anytime. Five o'clock. We're running out of time here. Hello? Is someone knocking? You could come inside. Oh, hello there. I don't usually get visitors in the control room like this. It's actually quite nice to have some company besides the various rodents ardently trying to eat my feet and ankles. The trolley company told us conductors to start taking rat poison foot baths before coming into work in the morning. Wouldn't you know it, all that did was anger the rats and give me trench flipper. You know, the trolley health plan doesn't cover trench flipper. Or gout, which is why I had to stop bringing my usual fried ham bones for lunch. I'll miss that humorously oversized lunchbox, but not my humorously oversized joints. Call me Clancy, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Unless you're here to rob me, in which case I'd ask you to kindly not take to not for time for hydration. Unless you're here to rob me, in which case I'd kind ask you to kindly not to take the dollar I have in my breast pocket. That's for my afternoon old man licorice snack. If I don't have that, I'll turn back into a pumpkin. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. But I don't want to chance it. Pat, my grandson. Funny fellow, that. Always wearing his little hat and bandana. Makes him really recognizable, though. You know, like for marketing and such. Funny fellow, that, Pat. Now, hold on. Even an old man with my memory remembers he's not supposed to be spilling the beans. My wife, Rue, told me quite clearly that I'd be in the doghouse if I did, and it's really uncomfortable out there, and full of dogs. Say, I could use a youngin like you's help with a little problem I'm having. Maybe you could do me a favor. I was going through my trolley instruction manuals, and I found a few flyers that were torn up from last time Rue put me in the doghouse. You know how dogs like to rip up things, like manuals, homework, and stable marriages. I'd like to restore them, but the pieces could be all over town by now, by gum. Since you're already snooping around for Patrick, could you keep an eye out for trolley manual pieces as well? Assemble the pieces before the train ceases. A streetcar maimed his flyer. Very good. Click and drag the puzzle pieces to form a full picture. Don't have all the pieces? They're scattered throughout Alligator, New York City. Hold on one second. I gotta, like, reposition how I'm sitting here, because my tailbone feels like I destroyed it. Ah! Sorry, just give me a, a brief memento here. Aye. Can these be flipped? No, they can't. So, by that logic, boop. Remember, always let everyone off. Oop. Hey, now, that looks real nice. There's still some work to be done, though. Put that arrow if you want to move on to the next flyer. You can always click back to see the previous one if the spirit moves you. Maybe you could do something with this as well. It doesn't go with any of my flyers. Oh, shit, new location. Come back anytime you want. <laughs> You'll never find me. Vote Wibblefin. Eat. 
emergency. Eat pant. Hey, don't look at me. Stop, stop looking. Cut it out. Please stop. Please, I have a wife and kids. I have a wife and cats. Please, I have three cats. Okay, okay, it's five cats and a body pillow with a crude drawing of a person done in Sharpie. Please don't tell my parents how I live. Rude. Hey, kiddo, how you doing today? Me? Any day above ground, right? <laughs> Just a little mortality joke for you, since I can only relate to my subconscious fears due to deflection. I deflection, I'm dad. Hey, thank you. Thanks, Chainsaw Heart. How y'all doing tonight? Some days, though, are better than others, and today's one of the better days. You see this big guy right here? This sweet piece of metal is the Grill Maestro 3000X. The undisputed king of the finest grilling technology man has ever known. I'm good. Uh, just uh, unwinding from work today. What's a new game? Uh, this is Later Alligator. It's really, uh, it's witty and fun. <laughs> yep, can't wait to fire this baby up and do some proper firing. And then now all I gotta do is figure out how to start it. And cook with it. And hopefully stop it before the rising flames consume us all. My students call me Mr. Mr. Mom Jeans behind my back, but you could call me Tony. Tell you the truth, though. You could call me whatever you want, so as long as you don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> I've punished my internal organs with intense meats and radioactive food colorings for several decades. My best years are behind me. Of course I know Pat. That's one of my boys. A smaller one of them that wears a hat. He's a good kid, but a little skittish. Bit of a hair trigger on him. Between you and me, I think that bun could have used a little more time in the oven. <laughs> oh, he's Pat's dad. Cool. I convey affection through heartless critique. I learned it from my father. Hi, my father. I'm dad. <laughs> the event, huh? Not sure how much I could tell you about that. Unless you're talking about my wife stopping her yammering. Now there's an event I'd like to see. <laughs> well, actually, I love her very much and deeply appreciate the mutual respect and affection that is present between us. Sorry. I only know how to communicate in relationships through dated humor that stems from sexism present in sitcoms. Maybe I should start reading those square things with the paper? Books. Anywho, you seem like a gator that knows their way around a grill. Let's say hypothetically that I needed a little help getting this beauty of a machine going. I know my lips get a little looser when I hear that fine sizzle of meat being cooked to dadly perfection. So maybe you could lend me a little hen, kiddo. Save this grill master from different disasters. Manic Pixie Dream Grill. I know that reference. Like, I've heard that reference before. I don't remember what it's a reference to, though. Problem spawning. Keep spawning on this terrible grill. Hold the correct tool over a problem for two seconds to fix it. Watch out for special problems and obstacles. Extinguisher. Fan for the smoke. Sparks for whatever that is. Excuse me, sorry. What? Okay, I think we're getting the hang of this. Uh-oh. I'm gonna turn up the gas a bit, see if we can really get cooking. doing come on fire in the newsroom hey I fixed it
You, I mean, we're doing great. Just a little more and I think we'll have this thing at temp. Marty time? What the fuck are you- Whoa, 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 bud! Lizzie's, wait. Where's the fan? There it is. Hey, got him. Amazing, ain't she a beaut? Totally not terrifying at all with the sheer amount of things she's got going on to the little men in overalls living inside it. Extremely normal. <laughs> Deflection. So what's this game about? So it's about a kid named Pat. Well, not, he's not a kid, he's like 24. He's an alligator. Everyone in this game is an alligator. Uh, he's convinced that at 8 o'clock tonight, his, fa his very, very large family is going to, like, kill him mafia-style. But, uh, it seems more and more likely that it's actually they're just throwing him a birthday party. He's very paranoid. Thanks for helping me out today, kiddo. About the event. Can't say too much, but I gotta brag about the balloons I got for it. My boy Pat just loves those colorful sacks of air. Probably why he loves his old man here so much, too. <laughs> My body is aging rapidly. No one could stop the forward cycle of time. See you tonight, kiddo. Eight sharp. Don't be late. And essentially what you're doing is you're going around questioning everyone you see. Uh, and they all have like little little mini games you could play for points and stuff. But you're on a time limit too. It's 545. And uh, I only have half the puzzle pieces. I have a little more than half the family badges though. I was having an eat emergency, but I got pulled in by Mandolin Mandy's siren song as usual. I love listening to him play and when he tells me to stop sitting so close in... Stop sitting so close and wide. Ugh. It's goofy, but seems like a cute game. It is. It's a nice little indie game. There's apparently a lot of replayability, too. It's, like, impossible to do everything on the first playthrough. I love listening to him play. And when he tells me to stop sitting so close in and rhyming couplets. Heh. <laughs> what a guy. You know, I just love coming to the park. I hear the birds, the music. I feel my own hot mouth mist reflected back at me as I stand too close to people. It's not on purpose. You try having your eyes positioned this way and get back to me about depth perception. <gasps> okay, so I got three people over here. A little Giovanni. Huh? I'm not doing anything. I mean, well, that's not exactly true. I'm standing here. I'm existing. My snoot is running from ragweed allergies. I'm not doing anything that has to do with the soda machine, though. Nope, nothing at all. I'm Giovanni, just a totally cool gator teen who hangs out at the park by himself with the soda. The fruit, cold cola, doctor soda, bug cream. Pat? You mean my cousin Pat? Yeah, he's great. Sick lemon, dentist's ire. Ira, IRA, okay. Ha. We used to play a lot more when he's a little kid, but I still think he's pretty cool. Sometimes he'll meet me at the mall food court after school and we get nachos. I'm lactose intolerant, so my dad doesn't let me have that stuff usually because it makes me blow chunks. But Pat doesn't mind holding my hoodie back while I spew. He's a total bro. Oh, the... what? Event? Okay, okay, you got me. I'll spill my guts. When I said I wasn't doing anything earlier, it was sort of maybe definitely a lie. See that soda machine right there? Truth is, I'm a bit of a cola connoisseur, and this fountain in particular is a beaut. All the best, most classic flavors. Soda's so rare, they stopped making them in the 90s. It's like time stopped here, letting me pick my, pickle my pubescent organs in carbonated bliss. Way too much alliteration. Once at this very spot, it makes the soda combo so great with the last of my baby teeth disintegrated with a slide whistle noise. You're lactose intolerant. To be honest, I... I there's, there's times where I cannot hold down my dairy. 
Um, and it's just, it sucks because I love dairy. <laughs> Um, but it's not, it's weird because it's not all the time. It's, uh, it's very odd. You can only have whole milk. I mean, otherwise I destroy toilets. <laughs> I drink whole milk. I mean, whole milk is probably the, the worst, like, I would think that would be the worst thing you could have with, la oh, maybe not, I don't know. I don't like skim milk, so it's fine by me. Sadly, no matter how I try, I can't seem to get the flavor right again. So I was kind of hoping you'd help me rediscover it. Maybe if we could figure it out, I could help you with something. Has a certain protein in it. Uh, mixed up the drinks and see what he thinks. Hooked on tonics. Try to follow Giovanni's soda instructions. Move the cup to the right to the right to see the recipes, then up to the fountain side of flavor. When you're ready, click on Giovanni to start his taste test. Get my recipe cards. Those are the sodas I've already invented. But how can I make something totally new and different? I don't know, it feels like a lot of pressure. I guess, um, I taste a dentist's IRA. Can't remember what it's like. Bleh, that's right. I remember dentist's IRA now. I hate this soda. It tastes like chemicals. Need to wash that taste out of my mouth. Give me the cold cola. It's just ice. When milk is processed in the factories, it changes the chemical up a bit, which makes people lactose intolerant can't process it properly. Whole milk with A2 proteins works for me. Interesting. I've never really looked into, uh... The makeup of milk. I always just say, it's milk, it's good. I put it in mac and cheese. I mix it with Coca-Cola, which people say is gross, but I love it. And yes, the sweet sugary rush of cold cola. Cold cola is the best, most delicious, most addictive soda of all time. It's my very favorite. Maybe I could take inspiration from one of my old recipes. Can you look at my recipe card and make me a cool guy juice? Cold cola plus one fruit. Inspiring flavor. Yes, this is masterful. You're a genius. Pass Giovanni. Let's use Cool Guy Juice as a base. But how do I make Cool Guy Juice even better? That's the question. Oh no, I'm cracking under the pressure of my own success. Let's try mixing Cool Guy Juice and Face Melter together, okay, maybe? Does that sound good? Dentist plus Sick Lemon. Okay, so it's everything. It's everything from this from these four. Yes, I mix Coke and milk. It's called... I call it... Well, I was told it was called an egg drop. I don't know if that's really what it's actually called. Um, but uh, I like it. It's nice and foamy. If, you get, if the Coke is cold, pour that in there. Three parts Coke, one part milk. Call that an acquired taste. It's very thick and creamy. It's like an ice cream soda, only with milk instead of ice cream. Uh, it's okay, but I expect it to be better. Take this and let me think. What's wrong with this soda mix? Maybe I'm just bad at mixing sodas. I guess it could be a weird flavor, though. Does Face Melter have the bad flavor in it? The one from earlier? Combine the two recipes again, and this time take out the flavor I didn't like. So no dentist, but the other three. That's perfect! You totally nailed it! In your honor, I'm going to name this drink Liquid Genius. Thanks for your help. The other two sodas didn't come up at all. Wow, your soda mixing skills are truly a force to be reckoned with. Look at how flat his head is. I knew when I saw you, there was a sticky, be-pimpled teen inside you, just waiting to be lured out to perfect sugary concoction. To make the perfect... Ugh. I've been preparing an extra... extra oh, oh, God. Okay. The 3 a.m. brain is starting to set in. Uh, as Vinny would say. That said, how long have I been streaming? Because I started late. Two and a half hours. I could go another 30 minutes. I might just finish this playthrough because it's close to the uh, to the end point. 
I've been preparing an extra special beverage for Pat. It's gonna be killer. Killer awesome, I mean. No, I can't go for two hours. I mean, it's three. I have to go to bed by, like, four or five at the latest, and I can't stream that late. Because there's other people in this house, and they won't get... You have No Man's Sky? No, I do not. I think you asked me that before. Uh, you asked um my other friend, the other guy who was here, if I had it. Not like it will kill him. He does get started pretty easily, though. Sudden moves tend to make him dive action movie style plate glass windows. It's pretty cool. Thanks again for your help, Flavor Master. See you tonight. Six fifteen. Welcome to Eat Emergency, where your hunger is sated with urgency. Today's specials are twelve cc's of sliders, which comes with chips or saline. You can add a side salad if you meet your deductible. If you're having a real emergency, close the game and go to your local urgent care or greasy hot dog joint. If you're looking for a dessert? That's more sweet emergency deals up on 4th Street, dog. If you'll excuse me, I'm having my own wheat emergency, as in I'm gluten intolerant and stress ate a bunch of burger buns in a break room breakdown. You know how it is working in the food service industry. Yes, I do. The system is broken, dog. Legion wanted more content for me to... To the Origami King, but I'm going to take a break and let my BF catch up so we can both play the final chapter together. I have not played Origami King yet. I really need to uh, do that at some point. The problem is I have too much on my plate right now. Like, after this, uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remaster comes out in eight days. So that's going to be a big stream. My stream anniversary is in about two weeks. And I'm going to be starting uh, Legend of Mana for that. So I've got two big RPGs going on. And then I have Smash on Fridays and weekends I'm trying to get back into streaming. I just haven't been able to. I keep getting, like, distracted or depressed. And it's, uh, not the most fun time. Put a coin into my hat. The song I play is sweet. And if you don't agree with that, I don't give receipts. The breeze, she sighs. The fountain coos. My mandolin does holler. So it's no surprise or clever ruse that I expect a dollar. Cease your sit too close, so may not cease your sit so close to me, though you enjoy my arts. For if you do not start to flee, I'll punch you in soft parts. Haha, <laughs> this guy. Do you have a console? I have um I have a Switch. My brother has a PS4, which I can borrow if I really want to. Uh, I actually just streamed Final Fantasy VII Remake a couple months ago. That was like I, I was hitting the streams, like, every day for a month while I was playing that, because that game was so good. Like, I am... I, I am dying for Part 2 to be announced, even if it doesn't come out for, like, another two years. I just want to know it's coming. Even though, I guess we do know it's coming, but... Twang! Very interesting that this person does not have a, uh... a game when they are, uh, on the loading screen. That cloud looks like a duck. Now that cloud looks like two ducks. That cloud looks like my ex-girlfriend who was a duck. Oh, Sheila. Sheila. Um, hello, do you mind stepping approximately three to seven steps to the right? You're blocking the sun and luminous scales lighter highlighter I applied is not living up to its customer review section. I've been out here all day with my new phone trying to get the perfect shot, but I just can't seem to look effortless enough. This one here, I totally have an expression, which is a super no-no in selfie town. I need to look just the right amount disaffected with just the right amount of lip gloss. This gloss won't pay for itself after all. You know the cause. I pay for it. Me. Like, I buy it. I'm Lizzie, but I've been trying to get everyone to start calling me Elizabeth Airy. Sadly, much like my attempts to be an influencer, it doesn't seem to be happening. Hey, I don't don't beat yourself up over that. Speaking of, I'm promoting fizzy fruit La Croc this week on my social medias. Would you like to try some? It's soda water that a fruit farmer thought about in passing, giving it just enough fruity essence to confuse the palate. Ha! Never resist a chance to knock Lacroix down a peg. Lacroix tastes like if you're drinking seltzer and thinking about a fruit, or alternatively, 
It tastes like pennies. Fizzy Fruit LaCroix. LaCroc. A consideration of strawberry. That's weird. I wonder... Because I've, I've thought... that I've had that joke. Someone else said that joke to me, and I've had it in my head for, like, a couple years. But I, this game came out this year, so I'm wondering uh, if they heard that joke at the same time. And they were right in this game. Pat? You mean Joni's cousin, Pat? Oh my god, Pat is hilarious. Last year, when I spent the holidays with Joni's family, Pat got so... Got, Pat got so punked on eggnog, he thought the Christmas tree was a hired assassin and ran face first into a Santa themed nutcracker display to escape. It took us two hours to get all the walnut shells out of his ears and to get him to stop wearing the beard as a disguise. He's kind of a paranoid guy. Totally nice, though. Love that bandana. I don't know. Are you here spying for Pat? He's not supposed to know anything about this. You feel me? I didn't even post about it on Snootbook or Pictogram. Or my live journal. Or my dead journal. I don't even write it down in my bullet journal just to be extra safe. I'm surprised I just straight up mentioned live journal. Plus then I save on bullets. Well, maybe if you could help me out I could give you just a little info though. You know, a little you stand my account and I stand yours. See, even though I'm totally a super tech savvy, super popular pictogram user with over 7 followers that aren't blood related to me, I still am having trouble with my new phone. I tried to import my photos and they all got dinked up. I can't post dinked photos. What will my followers do if they're denied the knowledge of their parasocial BFF Lizzie's most recent vegan cafe exploits? Riot, that's what. Hashtag give peas a chance. So will you help me fix my pics? Assemble the- oh no, is this another sliding game? Assemble the pics to help her get clicks. Unmix the pics. The photos are all divided into sections. Click each section to stop it in place. Assemble a complete photo to win the round. Yes, thank you. We should totally get a selfie at this moment. Hold on, let me get my stick out of its Swarovski studded holster. Okay, let's go with... Oh, what? I did it. Ha, oh, this was me and Aiden on National Siblings Day. I can't remember his hangout sesh so clearly. Probably because smell is so tied to memory. Beach day, the old Pinny B. L M A O. I'm screaming, literally. Hashtag ah! Let's go for the concert pick. Nice, though, TBH, this concert was kind of a bummer. I like screaming my feelings as much as the next 20-something, but asp aspirating the lead singer's sweat from the fifth row was a lot. Uploading and posted. Thank you so much. I think people are really going to like these ones, especially these cute candids of Joni. Aw, jeez. How come it's like, when I take candies of my significant gator, they're cute and perfect, but when Joni takes them of me, they're like this. Hashtag relatable relationship. Oh yeah, about the event. Well, like, don't tell Pat, but I totally did the playlist for it. I think he's gonna be super surprised. But like, not as surprised as the time he opened the closet and a coat fell on him. He screamed so hard that he projectile vomited several liters of cranberry sauce. Content warnings. Bodily fluid. Thanksgiving. Thanks again for all your help, stranger. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hey, are you there? It's Pat. I know we haven't figured out what the fam family's totally nefarious secret is yet. Well, but maybe if we walked there together, I'd feel safer. Is that okay? I'm on my way. Yeah, I'm out of time. 
I wonder if you could just do everything afterwards. Hello and pleasant evening, my good chum. I didn't mean to startle you. Oh no, I didn't mean to startle you. Not I. Hee-hoo! <laughs> you see, it is within my very nature to skulk mysteriously around corners and the like in deft silence. As my mother was a mysterious slipper designer and my father was mysteriously absent. Oh, but enough about me. What about you? You seem like an alligator with an agenda as well. Perhaps a mysterious agenda? Well, that's just fine, my friend. That's just fine. Hee-hoo! <laughs> you know... They say mysterious agendas are the best agendas of all, second to only salacious ones. Perhaps yours is a little bit of both. Do you have a blog I can follow? I see you noticing my hat, but tread carefully, my dear. Tread carefully! Hee hoo! This hat and the secret alligator society it symbolizes have led me down many a dark and terrible road. Such as community potlucks with spaghetti so al dente, your very soul will ponder the multitudes it requires to chew it. <laughs> Don't get me started on a mysterious rummage sale. Our fundraiser for the SP SPCA? Extremely mystical. Our community snake spear production in the park? No, no. That was fairly uneventful. <laughs> Fl Flower, take me back. Welcome back, esteemed guest. I'm afraid our kitchen is closed early for a closed event in the hotel ballroom tonight. I've provided Mr. Pat with some complimentary stale oyster crackers and tap water. If you'll follow me, I could show you to his room. Pardon me, we'll begin walking at your leisure. My, what beautiful wallpaper we have! So rich and distracting. We've arrived. Please inform Mr. Patty can't have any more tap waters after you leave. Uh, I didn't see what that word was. Actually, it was covered by my water bottle. <laughs> I'm so glad you came back. I've just been guzzling tap waters and stress eating these funny crackers the waiter gave me. Even though I'm not going to wear them, I went and got all my shoes out anyways. I think just for the company. It's scary being alone in here. And now the event is about to begin, but maybe since you're here, nothing bad will happen. I can burp on stream like an idiot. This counts as something bad happening. Do, do you have a flashlight? I'm scared of the dark. And a flashlight, but slightly less so. Hey, you found one. Do I look like that one video by Alligator Queen? Hopefully with this we can make it through the corridors of the hotel to the ballroom where the event is safely. Just walk really close to me, okay? We have no way of telling who or what is out in those twisty halls. Embark in the dark. Navigator. Power's out. Click and hold to guide path through the dark hotel. Ah, a reminder of the inevitable passage of time that will one day consume us all into the infinite. Also, I can't read analog clocks. Uh, what? Oh. Whoa, that guy again. wonder what that pink stuff is. Probably nothing corrosive with the hefty half-life.
Um, I think we might have walked in on something sensitive. was either an intense Halloween decoration or proof that life persists beyond this mortal coil. Either way, I'm not really happy about it. back at the beginning, aren't I? going. Uh, there's just something unwholesome about reading graphic novels in pitch dark sediment of a broken hotel wall. See it move? I think I saw it move. Well, Mandy, I ask what he's doing here, but he's attracted to spotlights like a moth that smells hair gel. Of course, it is a birthday party. My dad said dentist IRA was getting a little too literal for me. And so I got grounded for soda for a billion years. <laughs> now I'm only allowed to have this fizzy fruit lacroque, which is just carbonated water with a lemon sneezed in or something. I already miss that sweet chemical burn of Dr. Soda pickling my internal organs. Alright, you can look at my cards, but don't go around telling everyone you meet about it, capiche? If they knew I let you look at my cards, every girly Lou and Bobby Wooza do would be coming over here trying to get a peep. Don't let the greater public lat masses look at my cards. Oh, oh, hi again. You found me, hee <laughs> hee. Thanks for always playing. Next time I'll look for you. Horace and I have come to an understanding of sorts, wherein he remains dead and courteous, and I don't call in a priest or buy any more poisons wholesale. I'm so happy. I wasn't getting rubbed out. I was getting birthday clout. It's so nice to have my beloved family here with me. We're going to take a big family photo and everything. That means you too, if that's okay. Everything you did for me, it really meant so much to me. You're a really special friend. I can't thank you enough. Oh, come on, everything is ready for the photo. Except for you. Follow me. Oh, look, it's me. I don't get- I get to choose what I look like now. Oh, my 
my god. This is amazing. This is the best part. Look, anime eyes. Make myself chunky. With a, uh, there's no yellow tie, okay. Goku hair there. Congratulations. But who am I? Why am I part of this? The game is won, the story ends sweet, but though it seems done, has all been deceit? What's really going on? Does our tale end right here? The more family you come upon on, the more the truth will grow clear. Yeah, this is not over. Uh, from what I can tell, there are more endings, and there's definitely more to the game. Uh, overall, I have, there's two whole areas I didn't even go to yet, and I didn't finish talking to everyone. So I'm wondering, if, do I have to start over, or do I have to just, uh... Just, uh... Pick up where I left off. I saw Eager Raptor in the credits there. Well, I still have all my stuff. How long am I streaming? It is 10 minutes to 3 hours, so... Try, try again. So you keep everything. Interesting. 8 a.m. Did you come back for me? Oh, he's getting... Okay, uh... So what happens if I say no? If I just pass? Alright, that doesn't take up time. Interesting. Lil Giovanni, age 12, occupation, puberty. Two-ton Tony, age 51, occupation, retired dad, loving life. Oh, she's part of that interesting family tree. Age 23, occupation influencer. She's part of the one with the, like, the spot rubbed out on it. She's not related to them. Interesting, we've definitely made progress here. Thanks again, dear. Come back anytime. So I could already go to 9th Street as well. Hmm. Let's finish up Alligator Memorial Park real quick. Just because there's like one or two people there I haven't talked to. Still some pieces missing it seems. Why hello again stranger. Thanks for coming back and granting me a visit. Did you find any more pieces of my flyers?
fuel up. Trolleys need bugs too. Interesting. Uh, though I don't have enough pieces for this. Thanks again for helping an old conductor out. Look forward to seeing you again. Okay, so I've already handled everyone here except... Yeah, no, I've already, I've already done you. Brolene, Brolene, Brolene! I'm begging you, dude. Please give me a hand. 901! 902! 903! Phew. Well, that's the highest number I know, so I guess that's enough. Huh? Oh. Sorry, Brosephine. Didn't see you there. Shrouded in total shadow by the monolith of my beefy bod. You're not going to start hitting me with a bone like the last one, are you? Huh. <sighs> Don't worry. Happens to me all the time. Me? People call me Lorenzo on account of it being my name. I work downtown at the Brodega Fitness Center in Mini Mart, being inspirational, aspirational, and non-recreational. I'm very serious about my job, Roseanne. Pat? Bro, that's my for real big bro. Well, not big big. He's kind of mild to medium-sized bro as far as alligator brothers go. He's like the mid-sized sedan of brothers. Me? Well, I'm like the sport utility vehicle of brothers. A sort of large but a little empty feeling inside. Event. You mean tonight? I'll tell you the truth, Brolette. I was sworn to secrecy. On my honor, over a bottle of whey protein and a stack of those muscle magazines I keep hidden under my bed. My strong jaw is strongly closed. Though, despite my problem-free, GMO-free lifestyle, I am having a muscle tissue issue I could use some help with. See, my visceral, huge my visceral hugeness and perfect health has been causing a terrible rift in the most important relationship in my life. That's right. I'm talking about my bird, who's my best bro in the entire Bralaxy. Oh, he's got a bro. See Tiny Terrence there? He just can't seem to bulk up. Maybe on account of his name, but also because of his love of watching television and complaining on the internet instead of complaining at the gym, like me. I've tried to help little Terry here beef up so he can roll with me and pot my impossibly huge crew, but he just hasn't reached his full bird potential. I can't stand to force my favorite broski to literally and figuratively live in my enormous shadow another day. So what do you say, Brosamina? You need to be a solid and make him more solid. Oh, we're gonna f beef up the bird. Fortify your body, get with the squad. Flappy bro, this is my Twitch banner. It's finally coming true. And I didn't even have to go back to Ring Fit. Click to make the bird flap his mighty wings. Collect healthy foods and proteins to make him strong. Avoid the exercise equipment. It hurts. Alright, bro, you could do this. Flex your wings. Yes. Getting swole. No, I missed one. Keep it going, Terrence is into it. Round two. Oops. Alright, so it doesn't matter if I miss. Uh, they'll just... I just have to keep going until I get more. You just say the chicken wing. Ow. My true strength is emotional maturity. This is just an expression of my larger commitment to self care. Thank you. 
Bulking up with that sausage. Ow. Terry, bro, I'm so proud of you. Oh, jeez. I'm flexing my eye sockets as hard as I can to keep the tears from flowing, but it's only barely working. I guess maybe what really needs to bulk up is my ability to deal with positive emotions. And also my calves so I stop falling over my ballast-like core. Ballast like core. About the event tonight. Well, it doesn't have a way in, I can tell you that. Don't worry though. I'm bringing my own scale and I've only been eating protein bars and dehydrated iceberg lettuce and prep. Gotta look my best for my little bro. Thanks again for helping me out and Terry here, bro Livia. Every time we're popping a particularly gnarly squat, we'll make sure we think of you. Glutes of steel, friendship of platinum. All right, so it looks like any of the puzzle pieces we've got are, are gone. Uh, so we're at 28 out of 48 puzzle pieces. We got nine more family badges to go. Got some mince some knives in, uh, in our case suitcase here. I wonder what the point of our character is. Uh, that said... Uh, Head back to the main menu here. I have to stop for the night because it is 3.20 and I've been streaming over three hours now and I really need to uh, get ready to go to bed. Uh, thanks so much, Chainsaw Heart, for the raid. I appreciate it. Uh, I will definitely be paying it forward. Let me just uh, see who is uh, streaming. So I'm going to be hosting someone from uh, twitch.tv slash team slash team wild abandon slash wild abandon not team team is only once let's get someone queued up here let's see what are these two doing uh, I can't choose, so I'm just gonna go down the list here. I think I'll be raiding uh, Zenny Fox. You too. You have a good night. All right. Thanks for coming, you guys. Uh, you all have a great. Oh wow, I'm, I'm watching the. Uh, <laughs> like, even though I'm on another window, uh, the, the hand's still moving around. Let me, uh, let me quit out for now. All right. Thanks for coming, everyone. You all have a good night. Uh, I'll be back with more of this tomorrow, probably. And then uh, we'll see what happens after that. I don't know if I'll finish this in two streams, but we'll see. Uh, Y'all have a good night, and stick around once I end the stream, because I'll be raiding uh, Zenny Fox. Thanks, guys. See you later.